Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of immunity, specifically active and passive immunity. Understanding these concepts is crucial to understanding how our bodies fight off disease. Dr. Amara said in a friendly tone, All right, everyone, let's start with the basics. What is immunity? One of the students asked, questioning, Isn't it like your body's way of fighting off germs? Dr. Amara replied, explaining, Exactly. Immunity is your body's ability to resist infection and disease. Now, there are two main types, active and passive. Active immunity is when your body creates its own antibodies in response to an antigen. An antigen is a substance that triggers an immune response. One way to develop active immunity is through vaccination. Vaccines introduce a harmless form of a pathogen, prompting your immune system to create antibodies without causing illness. Think of it like showing your immune system a wanted poster, Dr. Amara explained. It learns to recognize the enemy, so it can react quickly if it encounters the real thing. You can also acquire active immunity by actually getting sick. When your body fights off an infection, it remembers the pathogen and can respond more effectively in the future. Dr. Amara explained, This is natural immunity. Your body went to war and now knows how to win the next battle. So, Active immunity involves your body actively creating its own defenses. Now, let's talk about passive immunity, Dr. Amara explained, transitioning the discussion. Passive immunity is when you receive antibodies from an outside source. Your body isn't making them, they're being given to you. A classic example is a mother passing antibodies to her baby during pregnancy. These antibodies provide temporary protection for the newborn. Passive immunity can also be acquired through injections of antibodies, like immunoglobulin. This provides immediate but short-lived protection. This is often used after exposure to something like hepatitis or rabies. The key difference is that passive immunity is temporary. You're borrowing antibodies, not making them yourself, Dr. Amara reiterated. Let's summarize. Active immunity is long-lasting because your body remembers how to make the antibodies. Passive immunity is temporary because the antibodies eventually break down, Dr. Amara explained. So, which one is better? A student asked, questioning. That depends on the situation. Active immunity provides longer-term protection, but it takes time to develop. Passive immunity gives you immediate protection, but it doesn't last as long, Dr. Amara explained. Understanding active and passive immunity is essential for understanding how vaccines work. 